everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. So, I know in the last two videos it was kind of super basic stuff. So, today we're going to start getting into the building. Um, actually, what I was, I did before the video to kind of prep up was uh, get everything ready for basically a nice little entryway. Probably might go with a little more of a basic design. But uh, what I did was I flat, kind of flattened out this area, evened it out so it was a little more symmetrical instead of kind of just, you know, there's a bump here, there's a bump there. Um, also, what I did, which I'll show you guys first, is I started a nice little uh, strip mine over here. Now, I do have a little secret hiding for my button. Because every iron door needs a button. But this goes all the way down to, I want to say, the 8th level? Yeah, I think it's a, it goes down to 8. And I dig 3 up. So I make mine a little bigger than most people do. But I like having the space to run. This is just kind of just the basic setup right now that I have for it. No, I don't have anything going out farther yet. But, um, basically this is what I used to get the cobblestone to make what I am going to make. I'm actually just going to make this a quick teleport home. Make it a little quicker so we can get right into the building. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this server will be set up so that we can easily do that. Alright, so... First things first, what we'll do is we'll grab some of these stone bricks, put the dirt away, grab a couple dark oak wood, which um, I did get from the oak that is in the little city over next to us that hasn't, it's not, it's kind of been started, it's not completely started yet, you know, it's kind of a work in progress, so I'll just grab stone bricks and dark oak wood. Okay, so for one of the things here to make the stone bricks, you take you first you gotta cook some cobblestone. Um, at least four is what you need to cook. You'll take it, and you'll put one in each. You can do this anywhere as long as it's four, you know, in a little box there. So made a little extra. Made sure I'd save some there. So what I'm going to start out is I'm going to show you, I'm going to get you guys shown on the kind of little bit of just the foundation of uh, the entryway. I want to make it wide enough to where, you know, it, it's not too small, but it's not too big. And basically what I did here was I took the farthest two areas of where I'm actually building from, so like say that edge there to that edge over there, and I centered it out so that by the time it gets built out over here, built out over here, this is close enough to the dead center, you know, and even if I build on this side of it. So what I wanted to do, and I really hope this doesn't look like crap, but I think it's going to, because that would plan. Looks like crap, but I'm gonna just use that for now. And I'll end up switching it after looking along. Otherwise, I'll see if uh, the texture pack I'm using is actually kind of a little custom pack. kind of improvising on how far out I want to go. You know, with everything. I don't want to go too far out. But I don't want it to be too big. But I might have to shorten this up. You know, it looks like it's a decent size. Because what I'll do is add another wall on the inside here. 
so that it actually would be like say the color of the interior and yeah so I mean this kind of looks like it'll be a, end up end up being a decent length here I don't know if I want to build my house up a little more and work the stairways up or you know I'm just kind of improvising as I go just so you know let's start working on getting a higher layer up one thing I did forget to make was ladders so I could keep going up here. So what I'll do is the other way I'm doing it. I like to do it is Example that. It's very specific, like, you know, with these logs, it's very directional specific on how you place it. Oh, I want to leave that one down. So it'll come up from this, that side. Alright, let's come over here. We'll grab a couple more piles of stone bricks. We'll grab these doors right away. Yeah, put the apples away. Put torches away for a moment. Bring the torches back out. Just a jiff. I want to get these doors here, which they'll eventually come down. I haven't completely decided what I want to do for floors. I might do a wood floor for this, which would be the basic. Um, I think I might use the dark oak planks because they do look a lot nicer. kind of make it a step way up. Now, everything I like, I like having it four high because the ceiling to it will, to me, feels a lot nicer at four high. I don't like having it where, you know, basically your head's skimming at the top and, you know, end up scraping your head on the ceiling. I, I'm a tall person the way it is, and I know how that feels. It does not feel that great at all. So, let's set those up. Now that I got that there, it would be nice. And let's get those torches back out. Let's get that front door lit up. Now, what I like to do is because sometimes since I put, I'll put, like I'll change these out for iron doors sometime maybe, and put an actual button here so it's harder for either one people to get in or two, I can actually have it set up where I'll put the bell, the door here, at the button here, and I'll let it run down and set up some kind of you know doorbell system that goes throughout the house <clears throat> yeah I, I'm starting to develop a little bit of a cold but that happens so what we'll do here is we'll work with the flooring yeah I don't think I'm gonna like that dark oak there I think I might go with something a little more on the lighter side. Otherwise, I might go find some chisel. My shovel. I'll make a wooden one for now. Wooden one will last long enough.
But yeah, your best bet is to always start out with your foundation and go from there. So that it looks somewhat, or so that it's even. If you have the doors on the outside, like, not like that. Now, if you have the doors on the other side, I would actually make it, say, this cobblestone, like it had this little pathway here, which I will end up adding lights and, you know, kind of all the bells and whistles to make it look inviting as people walk in. Probably the shit off the stone, but I'm gonna take a egg. Oh. Okay, not the stone there. night here. I don't think I have a sword with me. I might just end up using my pick to kill everything. Um, with what I did with that little strip mine I built, I did get a couple more iron. Not much, but you know, kind of enough to suffice for now. Now, Torch placement is kind of special. You want it every eight blocks. At least. Because at eight, at, you know, at every eight blocks, the thing to come around the wall. Here comes a spider up my wall. Get out of here. Darn spider. Trying to distract my work and get me killed. Okay, so I'll dig out the rest of this. Probably end up getting the floor in. Just show you guys what the starting, and then I'll show you guys the finish in the next video, most likely. And we'll start a new project, or actually go out and decorate this one. Not much I have for decorating tools yet. Um, kind of gotta wait till I grow my farm a little bit more. Still haven't figured out if I wanted to polish that off or something. I did end up finding a potato off a zombie, so I got potatoes growing there right now. Goodness. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, before I die, let's head back here. Boy. Oh, that was extremely close. That's way too close for comfort there. Ha, huh, got myself down to a half a heart. Alright, so it looks like the zombies and all them are telling me that's it for the video. Since they're gonna. I'll be pretty hard. I'll have to find out what difficulty is it set on. I think he has it set on hard. I mean, it's been a while since I've... 
Well, now there we go, Mr. Spider, trying to climb up into my door. Yeah, ha 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 ha. He just got hurt. He can't get in. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you would like. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.